for me to go live. Uh, we are still struggling with some internet issues at our house, so hopefully everything will run smoothly tonight. But if I disappear at any point, I'll try to come back. So as we dive in, um, I mean, it is Black Friday week, so this topic has to be finding deals. I could try to talk about anything else, but I know that you guys would take me to where do we see these things on sale and where can I get the best price on this? So we might as well sit there. If you're looking for a deal on something in particular, let me know. I'll try my best to share whatever deals that I know that are running uh, or to hunt for something as best I can while we're live, we'll see. Or to maybe say, hey, I will let you know um, and I'll send you a message, you know, whatever. I will try my best to get you an answer though. So as we go through tonight, I do want you to realize a few different Black Friday sales have already started. Target, Kohl's, and now Walmart. Walmart deals just went live an hour and a half ago. If you have Walmart Plus, they went live at 3 p.m., but all the rest of the world, they went live at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So you've got three big ads. Well, um, Best Buy has been live since Friday, four big ads that are already live, and a number that are gonna go live in the next couple of days if they haven't already. So Lowe's, Home Depot, some of those all waiting until Wednesday. We do have some stores that are waiting until Thursday, but it's not a lot. So all of our big guys are already out there. Uh, honestly, the, the trend with Black Friday has been who can beat who to the rush. So uh, that's all they're doing, right? Is playing the game of who can be first. So the deals are definitely there. I, I have to say, um, Walmart wise, when I was pulling the deal, I compared it to last year's list. And some of the Walmart Black Friday deals are actually cheaper than we saw for the same items last year, which is exciting. Uh, I mean, there were a couple where the price went up, but there were really a lot where the price went down. So uh, not what we're seeing in the norm, but we will take it for Black Friday deals. So whatever you're looking for, Keep that in mind. Uh, also keep in mind that a lot of these sites are still planning Cyber Monday deals. Different products, some different sales, but still gonna have some great deals next week too. So you don't have to jump on these. The big question I always get, should I grab it now or should I wait? Honestly, with so many of these stores running um, some holiday best price guarantees, you might as well just at this point grab the item. Um, so an example for me, and I, I guess I have to say it kind of quiet because I don't think this teenager is asleep yet, um, but one of my teenagers wanted a um, pretty popular like strategy game and I've been waiting, kind of watching it, been watching it, and Target has all of their games, well, maybe not all, but like a ton of games that are all 50% off right now. This is definitely the lowest price that those games have hit. Target's run buy two, get one free. That's 33% off. 50% off is there. You should just go ahead and grab that. So if you are in my boat and you're looking for a couple board games or whatever it is that your kids are wanting, check that sale for sure. Uh, that was one that I have jumped on so far. Another one that I jumped on in terms of the deals that are already live, um, Amazon has matched targets buy two and get three free on books. And honestly, between the two, the amount of books on Amazon is much larger than the amount of books that Target sells. So I went Amazon for that one and I did grab some books. Um, honestly, shopping for teenagers is kind of fun uh, because they want like sophisticated things. We want poetry books and, you know, I so went digging and found some fun things that I've never read in my life. And we're all going to get a little smarter this year at Christmas. Okay, I'm gonna jump into y'all's questions uh, and try to go through and catch every question. If I miss your question and I, you know, I don't know, a whole bunch of time goes by, ask it again just in case I don't see it go. Um, but I will definitely try my best to get there. Um, so Danielle's already asking magnetic tiles. That is one that we see a lot on daily deals. Uh, so if you can hold off, I actually would. There are a couple sales, but there's nothing specific on magnetic tiles right now that is a great price. 
what I would say is you're looking for a pretty large set to be in the like 20 to, well, definitely less than 25. I wanna say like the 20 to $22 range, Danielle, for the large sets. And we will see those on daily deals, both on Amazon, watch Zulily. Zulily loves to do magnetic Picasso tiles, magnetic tile sets as daily deals, super low prices for some pretty big sets. So they usually win um, and occasionally target, but those are the three main ones. Um, and you will get the best price if you just kind of wait and then you grab it when you see it on those sales. Um, will the Crocs website have Black Friday deals? So Lynn Crocs has been running 50% off. It may have ended yesterday. It's gonna come back. So they ran a pre-Black Friday over the weekend. I do think it ended last night, but it'll come back on Thursday for Crocs.com. It was 50% off a chunk of Crocs. And I think we'll see this coming weekend those selections grow even larger. So the options this past weekend were maybe like 30 different styles and sizes for the whole family. And they will probably just add to that, but the same sale. So up to, I guess you have to always add those couple words there, huh? Cause some of them weren't 50% off, but up to 50% off uh, Croc styles at crocs.com and look for that sale to get reactivated on Thursday. That's what I've seen in my email. Um, any deals are the cheapest way to do ring security on Verizon. So we definitely have deals on the actual ring uh, with blink cameras. So if you head to Amazon, Amazon's got a lot of um, ring and blink bundle deals. So I would look for that for your hardware. In terms of the actual monitoring, I don't know that you're gonna find any crazy good deals there. You're just gonna end up paying for the service, but I don't know that I would jump in on paying for the equipment through Verizon. You're definitely gonna get a cheaper price on that through Amazon and the bundle deals that Amazon has made. Um, it's just kind of the way to go because you're really dealing with a company that I'm pretty sure Amazon owns at this point. Um, it's one of those where it's always best to go to the source. So buy the equipment from Amazon. In terms of the actual um, coverage though, uh, I actually can't help you there. I can go digging and see what I can find. It's not something um, that we pay for out in our neck of the woods. If you manage to find us, you've done a really good job. Um, so not something that we have. Okay, um, 65 inch TVs. So Danielle, I'm going to answer your question with um, a just general web view here. So this is a great one just to kind of show everybody if you don't remember that this is here, um, that we do have an item search that lets you search across all of the Black Friday ads um, and you can literally use it from this page. So just putting in 65 and TV, it will return all of the 65 inch TVs and the sale prices that are there. Over here you can adjust the price column to go um, larger to smaller. So Target has a 65 inch frameless element TV to $99.99. I can't guarantee you that that one's still in stock because that sale did start yesterday, um, but it's worth a shot. And then from there, outside of the Target sale, BJ's with a sale that actually starts on Thursday, we'll have the next lowest at $4.79, Best Buy at $4.89. Um, so in that $4.79 to $4.99 range is a number of 65 inch TVs there, Danielle. So uh, hopefully using that item search again, um, heading to Southern Tavers, and then it was that big black box that I just clicked on uh, and you can search for anything that you want, but you can see all of them. It's a pretty great chunk, um, long list of 65 inch TVs, um, but you can kind of get the idea of where most of the cheaper ones are um, in that range. Uh, Kathy is looking for a small microwave. Um, great question, Kathy. Let's see what we have in the search here. Um, <laughs> Costco has, if you really want to go small, Costco's got one for 99 bucks. It's a 1.3 cubic foot, uh, and it probably wins, uh, at 99.99, not only, um, obviously in price, but, um, in being tiny. It's one of the smaller ones on this list. So that's where I would point you, Kathy, is to Costco. I don't know if you have a membership or not. That sale starts on Thursday online or in club on Friday. The next cheapest is gonna go Lowe's. 
um, for a microwave that is also an air fryer. I'm not sure if you're wanting that um, for $189, which isn't super cheap either. I know Target does occasionally put some um, really small ones like that would go in a dorm room size on sale for around $100 to $120 as well. So you could also just check out a general Target ad and see what they're running if you don't have a Costco membership. Okay. Um, so a few others, um, scrolling through questions here. Um, oh, and Stacy says, my daughter and I actually love to go Black Friday shopping on Friday. Were that, will there still be sales at the stores on Friday? Yes, there will, Stacy. still be store deals going on in store. Most of the ads are all starting online on this day and then starting in store on Thursdays or Fridays. And honestly, most stores are now closed on Thanksgiving, which is, you know, the plus side of COVID. Um, but a good chunk of them are uh, going to still run deals in store. We're also going to see a, a number of stores, Target included, Walmart included, that run a new batch of deals starting Thursday online and Friday in store as well. So they're already running some deals. The Target deals are in store and online all week, but we have a new batch that will be in store and online just for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So yes, you can definitely head to the store if you want to. I have not been a head into the store kind of girl for a number of years. Just because I find that when I shop online, I have a better supply. There's more in stock than what was just at your store or you can play around, even if you're gonna do a local pickup, playing around with, oh, I could go to this store. Obviously I live in a bigger area and there are multiple targets to pick from. Some of you don't even have one, but um, those of us who have some choices, that could be a perk of shopping online versus in the store if you wanted to. Um, oh, some great questions. So Apple, um, ear pods there are a ton of deals one of them is at the in the walmart list that started today airpod pros um and again this is a great one for um using the item search because you are going to find a lot so um walmart right now their current ad is i think 119 staples has 114 in store only uh, and that is going to start on friday Target's got 114 as well. That's currently running. Um, these are with the charging case too. So they're the wireless with the case that charges them, which is pretty great. So that 114 market staples and targets probably your best bet um, for AirPods right now. Uh, 119 with the Walmart ad that just started um, too. And don't forget for my folks with the Target red card, you get an additional 5% off. So there are some perks to make that purchase in Target or in Kohl's. And Kohl's, if they have the same price as the other stores, they win because you are gonna get $15 in Kohl's cash back on that $50 purchase. I got a message um, earlier today from Wendy and Wendy was saying, you know, this is a great deal, but I always forget to use my Kohl's cash. So if that is you, as soon as you earn your Kohl's cash, you need to open up whatever calendar you use. I'm a Google person with my Gmail account, open up your Google Calendar and put, like give yourself a reminder when that Kohl's cash starts and give yourself a reminder, Kohl's cash expires today in your Google Calendar so that it will alert you so that you will get that notification. Oh, I can start to shop the Kohl's deals and oh, I better use that up now before it ends um, because that's 15 bucks. Even if there's, you're thinking, you know what, what am I going to get? you could easily knock out some stocking stuffers with that 15 bucks um, if that's all you did. I mean, I don't know, get yourself new socks if you wanna be super boring, but it's free money and it's a good chunk of free money. So you're gonna get $15 in Kohl's cash back on any $50 purchase. Now there are some items, like we're talking AirPods here, that I cannot use a coupon on, they're already a super low price. Kohl's is already matching the same price that everybody else is running on that. That extra 15 bucks on every $50 really does add up. So do not miss Kohl's. Also, uh, another great question that Wendy had, and it goes along with this, you do not have to pay with a Kohl's credit card to get this deal. So you can pay anyway. Uh, if you don't have a Kohl's card or you don't wanna get one, that is 
fine. There is no magical coupon code where a card member is going to get a better deal for this whole week. So you use whatever payment system you want. I struggle with remembering um, to pay that bill because they don't let you set it up auto to auto pay. Um, so it is best for me to not use that as a payment unless I have to. And then I pay it off in the store when I pick up the item um, so that I will not screw that one up. It's not fun to screw that one up because uh, you did it to get a deal. Um, Squishmallows. That is on every single one of my kids' lists, which is funny because they got one last year, so you would think that we were good. Um, there are some deals. Walgreens has some uh, all the time that are on sale. You're also gonna find some at um, Walmart and Target. They're not running huge sales on these because they kinda know that they don't have to. If you're wanting giant ones, Costco and Sam's have the best prices on those really huge giant ones. Uh, and we will see Walgreens, I, and I can't tell you because I don't ever see previews of Walgreens until like three days before they go live, but we did see last year, I have no doubt we will see again this year, a Squishmallow 50% um, off sale at Walgreens as we get closer to Christmas. So if you want to hold out, you could. Um, that's good online and in store when they run it, but I can't tell you what the dates will be for that. I just, they, they don't really change up their routine. So the deals that we see at, Wal at Walgreens, they're the same deals we've seen at Walgreens for the last few years. They threw Squishmallows in last year because it was kind of becoming a big item. Um, and I have no doubt that we will see them again. Uh, it's actually funny. I'm looking at one right across the room for me. Like my kids have quite a few. They each have a big and a little and they each put them back on their Christmas list this year wanting another one. So it is still a fun item no matter what age you are. Even my 16 year olds have it on their list. So uh, I understand why you're looking for a deal on that one. Walgreens is going to win. Um, Oh, and Cassie says um, that she logged in on Crocs and it already gives, so Crocs is still running that bright Friday savings. That's what they started last Friday. Um, and Cassie, thanks for letting us know that it is still live. So Lynn, if you wanted, you could go ahead and chop it. I do suspect we'll see more added to that sale towards the end of the week, but you could go ahead and chop what's there. Um, okay, so Rob has an off topic question um, for Catalina's. You have a manufacturer's coupon and store coupons that printed. Can I use them together? For example, a $1 off five in yogurt and a $1 off two in Oikos. So yes, you could. If you've got, if you know that one is store and you know that one is a manufacturer, they are gonna work great together in pretty much every store. Every store allows you to use a store and a manufacturer together. The easiest way to tell that, Rob, is actually not in the wording. So that one off five yogurt, could technically still be a manufacturer's coupon. It's really the barcode. So when you look at those coupons, if the barcode kind of looks basic, it looks like a barcode from 10 years ago, one level, just normal straight line barcode, it's a store coupon. But if it's one of the double layer, so it's got a layer barcode and then a whole nother different barcode underneath it, we call that a data bar now, actually has a different name. Um, that is truly a manufacturer's coupon. I don't know of any store that has switched their store coupons to actually having legit data bars. Everyone is still using the old barcodes um, for stores. So you'd be very safe to use them together, definitely, if those um, barcode and data bars are, are not the same on both of those coupons. Okay, um, any deals on gift cards? So Irene, there's quite a few actually, and, uh, a few different ways to look at it too. So first off, all three of the major drugstores are running rewards back on a chunk of different brands. Now it's select brands there. So look at the Walgreens, the CVS, the Rite Aid, whatever you have near you and see what they're running. Um, there are quite a few there uh, in each list for rewards back on gift cards. Option B, Kroger is running four times the fuel points on gift cards through December 7th. So you've really got like a week and a half on that one to grab any gift cards that you wanted in Kroger and get four times the fuel points, which isn't bad. And that is completely wide open. That could be Lowe's, Target, you know, whatever they're selling. I love those sales. Uh, the other one, or I guess other two, there are two more to go here, directly from the company. So um, the Children's Place and Carter's and a few other sites 
will run bonus gift cards back. So you buy $100 in gift cards and you get a $20 bonus. I'm making up that number, but that's what a lot of them run. We will also see a lot of restaurants run that. One thing to note on those bonus gift card deals, those bonus gift cards that they give you have an expiration date on them. So make sure, now the, the general gift card you're buying is not allowed to expire. It's actually against the law. Gift cards cannot have an expiration date any longer. They could maybe 10 years ago, but not anymore. But that bonus gift card, it's not, they don't really key it like a gift card. It's really more like a coupon and it does have an expiration date. So if you do one of those bonus deals, make sure you use the bonus first, just so you don't mess up on those. And then the other one is Sam's, Costco, and BJ's. They are all running some pretty big gift card deals uh, as part of their current events and sales. And Sam's, by the way, guys, is gonna not only run a Black Friday event with some pretty great gift card deals in there along with other things, but Sam's has two more events to throw at us before Christmas. The next one being December 1st, starting next Wednesday through December 4th. Um, so just so you're watching for that, that's gonna be Wednesday to Saturday at Sam's right after we did Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So some really great gift card deals in warehouse clubs. It's one of the biggest reasons to have a warehouse membership deal. Um, you know, just the deals that you can grab with those gift cards uh, on restaurants, on other places around town too. Some pretty great ones. Okay. Um, Donna looking for a deal on carpet Ooh, with free installation. Um, so I haven't seen a lot on carpet though. I'll confess Donna, I didn't specifically look at the Lowe's black Friday ad for that. Uh, I do know that their black Friday ad is already started. So if you didn't see, um, anything in their ad, um, then there might not be anything on carpet this year. The free installation I could see being kind of a hard one for um, a lot of stores. Let's see, I'm, well, they're they're running their pre-Black Friday right now at Lowe's. So I'm going to um, look at their upcoming Black Friday ad, but I kind of, uh, I am hesitant to say the free installation being there just because so many people are having some, you know, pretty large issues with staffing. I don't see them um, throwing in a lot of installation for free right now. You got free delivery on appliances, but I'm not seeing anything on carpet in their Black Friday ad um, for Lowe's at all. And if Lowe's isn't running it, then I would say the same for Home Depot because their ads are pretty much mirror images of each other. Um, so. I don't know that this is your year for that. Um, what you could do is call around to some local carpet companies as well. Don't forget to add them into the mix. Uh, they do have some great prices and you might be able to get some better deals um, in terms of insulation from them uh, and just overall prices. I think of one, um, I go up and I do news segments with the Charlotte Today on a pretty regular basis. And one of the companies that Charlotte Today um, has that advertises with them almost every time I'm up there is, um, what is it, like 40 floor or something like that, um, now now that I've tried to think about it. Um, but looking at companies that are similar to that, that come in, uh, this particular one, like literally they show you the carpets in your home uh, and they do all the installation with that way, you know, everything's done for you, they move everything for you. Um, that may be something to look into in terms of their types of Black Friday deals versus going with the Lowe's and the Home Depot's that are really focused on a whole bunch of other things. Uh, you may not see the deals that you're looking for this year from a Lowe's and a Home Depot that a local place may actually still be running, long story short. Um, is it reasonable to expect to actually find a PlayStation 5? You know what, I haven't seen any that have gone live. I've seen a lot of Nintendo Switches, but I haven't seen any uh, on the PlayStations. So I don't know that it's reasonable to expect to find one. Um, I think it may be just, an, uh, we're gonna wait another year and see what you can find next year. Ashley deals on iPhones. Um, there are a few deals that are running. Um, not sure in terms of like, gift cards or what model you're wanting, but Target wins 
on the iPhone SE. That is if you are with particular providers. So Target's running uh, an iPhone SE with total wireless, simple mobile, or track phone um, that's really cheap, plus has a really high value Target, Target gift card back with it. Um, or um, potentially maybe going um, Walmart. Walmart has the iPhone 12 on sale, 12, 12 mini, or option C here for iPhones, going direct with the provider that you're looking for. Um, Verizon, I know, T-Mobile, they've all been running free iPhones with a new line. Uh, they've also been offering really high trade-in values on phones. Um, even some broken phones. So looking into that and seeing what Verizon and T-Mobile or other providers in your area are offering um, might be your better bet too if you're not seeing it at the major stores. But Target, iPhone SE, Walmart, iPhone 12 mini, those are the two main deals that are running. Um, and then Sheila, same kind of question, iPhone deals to purchase outright. I don't wanna add an extra line or turn in my old phone. Um, we're kind of that you're kind of like, those are both of the options where they discount it for you, Sheila. So, uh, I don't really know uh, a lot of great sales. You can try with your provider and see what they're offering. Um, I don't suspect that you're going to find a lot there. And most of the deals that we find are with purchasing along with a new line. Um, in terms of purchasing outright, you could look at purchasing um, through a different source. Um, so, you know, just to mention it, it's not always the safest way. You need to be smart about it. But my husband has grabbed a few from local sellers or eBay in the past. So he has a phone that he does not want a new line. He does not want to change anything that he has. He just needs to pay for a new phone anytime he gets it. We have for him, this is an iPhone, but we have gotten some good deals for him directly through Samsung. Um, so he's an Android guy and thankfully he was willing to marry an Apple girl. Um, I guess we got married before those two really existed or were really popular, but we are not the same phone kind of people. But directly through Samsung, they do run some de great deals actually on their new phones uh, with gift card offers back. Um, so. That might be an option. I don't think that Apple's run anything huge on phones uh, right now. They have a, you know, a pretty good deal if you want to get the Apple tiles or the other products, the smaller products, but not the phones. Uh, one other option for you, Sheila, if you're wanting to purchase outright, maybe that you take advantage of some fuel savings. Um, I did this for a new computer, but getting gift cards, Apple gift cards at Kroger or uh, other gift card locations, Target's running a $15 gift card on a $100 Apple gift card purchase and slowly accruing Apple gift cards until you have the value of the phone that you want to purchase. Now that would be purchasing it from Apple, but you could look for the same, you know, deals, uh, gift cards to Target and then heading to Target and buying it or gift cards to Best Buy and then heading to Best Buy and buying it. Um, so you're not necessarily getting a, a huge discount on the phone, but you are getting something back for the large purchase that you're making, it's better than nothing. So it's something. Nintendo Switch Lite, we've seen a lot available. Jenny, we have not seen a lot of sales. So when it comes the, to the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Lite, um, there we're seeing the same sales, the same price everywhere. It's more that they have them, <laughs> where two days ago before the sales were activated, they didn't have them. So on that one, you're if you can find it in a store, you're going to want to go ahead and purchase it. You are not going to find it cheaper because no one is really offering a deal on it. Um, but you'll at least have it in hand. Okay. Um, and Nintendo Switch OLED, I don't know that you're going to find it, Leanne. Um, so there are, Best Buy has um, some that had some in stock. Target has some in stock um, with a model. I don't know if they're still in stock. Um, I'll go hunting and see for you really quick. Um, but this is more a what, again, you're going to be able to get your hands on. And I um, am not 100% sure that at this point you'll even be able to get your hands on it. Uh, I'm not seeing it on Target's website. They do still have... Um, 
see, I just saw the switch go by. Um, oh, even the switches now, sorry, are saying check in stores. So the switches are no longer available on even target.com. Best Buy did have some pop up. Walmart did have some pop up in their new sales that went live, but I don't know that those were LEDs. I think those were OLEDs, sorry. I think those were just the basic ones that are the $2.99 for the bundle with the Mario Kart 8, um, but not the, the newer version ones. Um, okay, and Christy, um, I don't know if you sent me a message on these either, but specifically looking for Nikes and Air Force Nikes. So um, already had this question today. So if it wasn't you, someone else is hunting for these too. So I will tell you after doing some digging on those, um, Air Force Nikes, they're not sold at all retailers that sell Nike. Uh, and Nike is one brand that pretty much every store that does sell Nike does not allow you to use coupons on Nike products. So like Kohl's, um, Dick's Sporting Goods, etc. Nike is always one of the excluded products. So in terms of deals, you can you will find Air Force Nikes at Dick's um, Sporting Goods. And they do technically say next to them that they have a Black Friday guaranteed low price. I didn't see that that was any lower than the price that was directly from Nike.com. And even Nike's website, who's currently running 20% off coupon codes, has excluded the Air Force from any coupons. So I don't know that you're going to be able to make a deal on those. I think if that's on the list, you're just going to be paying full price. Now, you could compare that Dick Sporting Goods guaranteed low price to the Nike.com price and potentially, you know, get Dick's to match the Nike price or maybe Dick's does come in a dollar or two lower than the direct Nike price. One thing to consider if you do go Dick Sporting Goods is that they do have a rewards program. Uh, it's not like wowing, but you're gonna earn a little bit of kind of uh, rewards cash back to use on a future purchase. So. Um, one thing to consider, not expecting to find an amazing deal on them, just the same price as the online Nike price, but maybe earning like five bucks back in um, their sporting goods cash, basically to use at a later point. Okay. Um, oh, goodness. Uh, Lynn, any deals on cell phones that are $100 or less? Everyone tries to keep selling me phones. There are quite a few cheaper phones that you will find. Um, that are inexpensive, I would check Target uh, in particular, Lynn. Target runs a lot of great deals on some of the uh, lower priced but still smart phones. They're still capable of accessing the internet um, and they have even some gift cards with them. So those are gonna be for specific providers usually, but you are gonna be able to get um, a pretty good price on them. So even, um, you know, heading to Target's website, depending on where you, you know, who your provider is, uh, this is a Motorola Moto G, it's 169 uh, simple. Uh, this is an LG Premier, is 99.98. Um, that's just its regular price, not on sale, but it is 100 bucks. Um, but you will see them run some gift cards either or as well, sorry. So here's a Cricut prepaid Samsung Galaxy A12. This is like a lower version of a Samsung um, like Galaxy tab uh, phone. This is still a great phone. Um, it's $99.99, but it comes with a $25 Target gift card when you activate it. So uh, that's with Cricut Wireless. So again, these are all specific to particular providers, but I would hunt and see what you can find on Target's website. Um, they can have some of the best deals, but also, and this is a little random, I don't know what your grocery store provider is, but Target has some great deals on phones with activation for some of the prepaid plans. Or, sorry, not uh, Target. I don't, I don't know if we even said the grocery store. Kroger. Kroger is where I want you to go for that. Um, some great phones, prepaid plans that are inexpensive, but still very decent phones without paying more than a hundred bucks. Um, that's a great question though. Um, rectangular glass storage containers, very specific there, Sue. Um, so I'm going to guess you mean like food glass storage containers, like pondering where I would put glass storage containers. I have five kids, so I wouldn't use, you know, outside of food, I wouldn't use them anywhere in the house. 
Um, there is a set on Walmart's site tonight, an Anchor Hawking set that went live that's 20 bucks. I think it's a 32 piece set. There's also some really great deals on Pyrex sets um, at Macy's and JCPenney's and Kohl's. So checking all three of those. Kohl's also has an Anchor Hawking set available um, too. So those are the two particular brands to watch for and four sites to go to on those. Kohl's may win when you add in that Kohl's cash, but compare it to that Walmart $20 price because I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, actually, um, Kohl's is with a mail-in rebate too. You guys are making me like dig deep back. That was quite a few days ago that I made that list. Um, but the Kohl's deal may win with the mail-in rebate and the Kohl's cash back. Um, I think you're going to come out to less than the 20 bucks that's the Walmart set uh, if you're trying to compare the two. Uh, cheapest two-piece long sleeve girls pajamas. So Cassie, let me go with this route. Here's some pajama deals and some of them are long sleeves, some of them aren't. Some of them are more than two-piece. Target has four-piece pajama sets that are 10 bucks. Walmart has pajama two-piece sets that are five bucks. Carter's and Oshkosh, they're owned by the same company, are running up to 70% off pajama sets and free shipping. So that's pretty sweet because they don't always run free shipping on any order. Um, and starting, I'm trying to think of my dates. I think it's starting um, Wednesday at Old Navy. You're going to get 50% off pajamas. Old Navy is really going to run 50% off the entire site. Um, but no, actually, I want you to wait till Thursday for Old Navy purchases. So if you decide to go Old Navy Thursday, I, you didn't hear it from me. But starting Thursday, Old Navy is going to run 50% off the entire site. And when you use the coupon code SHIP, all capital letters, uh, you are going to get free shipping on any purchase. So that's quite a few deals there. Target, four-piece sets for um, 10. Walmart, two-piece sets for five. Target's also running 25% off pajamas as well that aren't included in those sets. So that's another option for you. Uh, Carter's up to 70% and free shipping and then Old Navy, 50% and free shipping. So uh, hopefully you're gonna find it there. I would say, my guess would be the Walmart or the Target deals are gonna end up being the cheapest, but um, for me, I have to say I love Carter's kids' pajamas and they really hold up. Um, so my kiddos are, some of them are wearing hand-me-down Carter's pajamas that every person in the house has worn, it feels like. Well, every kid in the house has worn. Uh, they've lasted that many kids. Uh, oh, Laura, on the hunt for a good but economical electric bike. Uh, so this is one where I would love for other folks to chime in because I don't necessarily know like amazing brands in the good but economical category for electric bikes. So if someone has one and you can chime in a great brand that Laura should look for, that would be amazing because um, I don't know all the brands that are out there. I do know that today Best Buy was running a one day deal on one in my book not economical, but it is quite on sale. It's 50% off. They have um, a name brand electric bike uh, for, I think it was like 500. Um, you'll also find um, some of the others. I'm trying to think. I actually had a company reach out and ask if we could do a sponsored post for them and their cheapest bike was like 500 bucks. I said, I don't really know if this is a good fit for our audience, um, but you're just proving me wrong. I should have stuck with, I should have done it um, just for you. So I'm digging to see what that company was, but they were going to run some significant Black Friday sales. So that's what I would do is probably pick out what bikes you're looking for and go direct to those companies on Black Friday. Those smaller companies, they could even run all week deals. So you could go ahead and start checking their different sites, but I would watch for their best deals to start on Thursday. Usually our, our smaller companies, they can't really manage the staff power of running a sale over the course of a whole week. Um, it kind of stresses them out a little bit. So we tend to see a smaller sale window, but some really deep prices when you're buying direct from the company that makes it. So um, while I may not have brands for you, because it's not one that a lot of folks are asking for, it's also not one that I've gone researching for either, I would do the hunt and decide what brands you're interested in and then use it there and kind of look and see what their sales are on Black Friday. Option B actually would be to go and sign up on their websites for their emails now 
because a lot of times they do send a kind of extra incentive to the folks that get their emails. So I know that may mean some junk emails for you, but it may also mean a significant savings by being in the know on what those sales are. Um, oh goodness. So Jessica, I'm still looking for a cheap Chromebook. So there've been some really great prices. I don't know what's still around. Walmart did have one in their ad that launched tonight. So that gives you hope in that it just launched at like 7 PM. So, um, in terms of Chromebooks, the biggest decision you need to make is what size you want. You know, do you want an 11 inch, which is where they're super cheap, or do you want a 14 or 15 inch? Um, so, uh, they have a Black Friday Samsung 11.6 uh, inch uh, Chromebook for $129.99. They also have a Dell that is $84.99, um, and this is walmart.com. So, you know, it just depends on the size that you're wanting and the brand there, obviously. But there's definitely some cheaper laptop, or sorry, Chromebooks there for you. So look at these. Um, this is a refurbished one, Dell Chromebook refurbished. So make sure you, you know, we're paying attention to the refurbished versus not. But this is your Black Friday deals right here. $129.99 for that 11.6 inch Chromebook, or this is the Acer Spin at 149. These are the kind that like, they're almost like an iPad, but the other side of that is a keyboard. So those are some great deals from Walmart. I would also check out Best Buy. Walmart and Best Buy have had some of the, the lowest prices we've seen on Chromebooks for sure this year. Um, and honestly, those prices are just continuing to fall. So we may have a chip shortage, but we definitely have not been impacted by that over Black Friday sales. We were over back to school. We didn't see any of these deals over back to school, but we've seen some really great Black Friday deals on Chromebooks in particular. Uh, if you are on the fence there and you're like, oh, that's a great price. I do want to emphasize that a Chromebook is not a laptop. Um, they're very different. A Chromebook is basically a computer shell that can access the internet. Um, it's a web browser and you can't put programs on it. Um, you don't have that kind of capability. You can put some that are like web-based programs on it, but you're not going to go and, uh, you know, download a bunch of other things. You're just going to access the internet and you're going to do what you can do on a Chromebook. Um, so you do need to realize the limitations that a Chromebook has. It's got some really great prices, but it's basically like it's missing uh, you know, a, a normal kind of operating system behind it. Um, so it can do a lot of things, but it can't do a lot of things. Uh, and that's why the prices are as cheap as they are. Um, any Clark's shoe sales coming up? Uh, you know what, Cassie, let me check my email on that one. So, uh, I know Clark's, um, here we go. They sent me one this morning at 9 a.m. So starting in two days, again, you didn't hear from me because the top of this line says, do not share this early. Um, starting in two days, it's going to be 40% off your entire purchase at Clark's using the code cyber that is going to start on 1124. So that's going to start on Wednesday and it's going to run until Thursday, 12, two. So you've got basically a whole week to use that at Clark's 40% off your entire purchase with the code cyber, all capital letters. Uh, but I didn't tell you. So there you go. Um, air fryers. Oh, Kayla, there are air fryers everywhere. Honestly, air fryers were the um, kitchen item of last year. And I think that a lot of these stores are realizing that they did not sell enough of them last year. And so now they have this like uh, just overstock of air fryers. But seriously, look at this list. Um, this is 20 of 66. I can click the show more and see even more air fryer deals. These are sorted by price. So Belk, um, these are super cheap, but we've got them as are super little. Not, they are cheap too, but super little. Uh, as low as $24.99, Big Lots, 5-Quart Power XL, Big Lots, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. Um, Bass Pro, <laughs> everybody's getting in on this. Um, Best Buy, $29.99. So I don't know what kind of air fryer you're gonna want, but there is a lot here. So again, if uh, if you weren't on earlier, this is the Black Friday item search. It's not hard to find. It's this big black box right there on the homepage, and you can literally just type in fryer into this, and it's gonna return 
what I was just looking at. Um, and you can start to figure out what you want, but there's a lot of deals on air fryers. Um, now in terms of air fryers, I would get your, I would think about one thing. We have one, um, that we love. They have two different versions of an air fryer. One is actually like a basket and one is more like an oven with trays that you can take in and out. Uh, and you're going to be a little limited on the basket style as to what you can put in there and how much fits in. So I actually love that ours, it does open in the front with shelves. Um, so we have a Vortex Power XL. Ours is a 10 quart. We're a bigger family, but I do love all the trays. I can do like an entire bag of French fries, but they're all on different levels. So they're not all touching. I don't have to worry about stirring or anything. We can also do wings for the entire family in there. Um, we've done a lot in our air fryer. Ours is also large enough to do a rotisserie chicken in. So as you ponder it, sometimes going for the $29 air fryer, you're going to get home and realize, you know what? If I'd gotten the slightly bigger one, I would actually use it more. So at least consider what you want to do in it. Look up some recipes before you jump on it. There are some great deals. So you've got a lot of deals to grab, but that way you'll maybe grab the right one that you want to get. Uh, Wendy with fragrance deals. We've got a lot of deals in the drugstores. Um, not sure what fragrances you're wanting, but if your brands are there, that is one place to look. A lot of them are offering rewards back on fragrance purchases. Also, don't forget that when they run, uh, like Walgreens, for example, right now is running 25% off of any online order. Uh, if it's not on sale, that's a way to get an extra deal on a brand that you don't often see on sale. Also, don't forget that Kohl's sells those products, so you might be able to find it on sale and get Kohl's cash back. Um, so be willing to look at stores that you may not normally look at for your fragrances, uh, but that's a chunk of them. And I don't know if you, again, what specific brand you're looking for, but hopefully that at least gives you some places to look. So Walgreens online um, and Kohl's would be the first two places that I would check. Uh, Ulta also has already started their Black Friday deals. They also sell fragrances. So seeing what might fit into their Black Friday sale on the, the specific uh, fragrances that you're wanting. My brain almost said flavors. I don't recommend eating that. Um, any deals on Raycon earbuds? I don't know that I have seen that brand. Um, so let me hunt for just a second for you and see what I can find. Um, are these, oh, okay, for gamers particularly. Um, you know what? I did get an email from a gaming company this week asking if I would share their deals. Let me make sure it wasn't that one. Uh, nope, wasn't that one. Um, okay, good. <laughs> it was, I guess, an off-brand. So no, I'm not seeing a lot on that particular company. I think it's really gonna be you um, hunting and seeing what you can find uh, around. Um, I did have one that came up in my email. Let's see, I'm not seeing it in there though. Um, maybe checking woot.com. That's the emails that are showing that it has Raycon in the email or the name is in the email. Then I'm not seeing it um, when I search the email for it. But you could see if there are some, Woot tends to sell refurbished models, so it may not be exactly what you're looking for. Um, but you may be able to find some sales on woot.com, W-O-O-T. It's owned by Amazon. It may seem a little strange, but, um, you know, seeing what you can find. Another one would be to watch the actual website and see if they run any particular Black Friday sales. Uh, right now it says shop early Black Friday with 25% off and the code is early BF, but I would suspect that come Friday um, or Thursday even, that sale's probably going to increase um, for you that you would be able to get an even better discount on those directly from the brand on Thursday and Friday. Okay, I gotta speed up. Um, you guys are keeping me going tonight. Uh, and then a, a great question, is it still worth shopping Black Friday in person? If you love it, like someone was mentioning earlier, I guess you get the experience, but no, there are no deals, none, this year that are timed in-store doorbuster deals. Every deal that we're seeing is online or in-store. Um, you're not gonna have to go in to get any deal that you wanna get. You are gonna be able to get it from home. So I do not know that you need to be there. I think actually you have a much greater chance of spending a lot less money 
staying home, um, going into the store, you I, you don't even want to see what the percentage is on the amount that people spend more in store than they do online, um, because you've got it all in front of you. And online, you only end up purchasing what you can see, which is just a tiny little portion of the store if you think about it. Um, so help your pocketbook out. Just shop the online deals. You're not going to miss anything in the store. Uh, Christy bicycles. If we're going for kids bikes, that's going to be Walmart. Their sale that just started at seven tonight. They have kids bikes as low as $48. Target is next in line. Um, but they're not even near the $48 mark. Target's more like the $79 mark. Kitchen appliances. Now I don't know what you're wanting here, but you can literally get free kitchen appliances at Kohl's. Now this is the smaller kitchen appliances. Um, that are the Toastmaster appliances at Kohl's.com. So if you head to Kohl's and you search for Toastmaster, all one word, um, and I will share my screen with you guys, you will see a number of Toastmaster appliances that are on sale for $19.99. Um, and you can grab any of these that you want. They have $12 mail-in rebates with them. Uh, and you have a 15% off coupon that you can use. So the code ENJOY15, you get 15 there's all sorts of versions of this that you can use. It's gonna give you 15% off. So you're gonna pay $16.99 after the 15% off. You're gonna get a $12 mail-in rebate. That's gonna make them cost $4.99 a piece. But if you grab three of these, mix and match, any three, you could get the same ones if you wanted. Grab three of them after the code at $16.99 a piece that will equal $50.96. Yeah, you're gonna get Kohl's cash. So you'll get $15 in Kohl's cash. You just paid $4.99 a piece. You basically just got it all back. So you got $5 back from each appliance that you bought. So grab three of them uh, and they're all gonna be free after the Kohl's cash. Now, uh, one thing that was brought up to me today, shipping is like eight bucks. So please, if you have a Kohl's in your area, select in-store pickup uh, because even with a free ship to store on this, you are gonna pay nothing for the shipping if you ship it to your local store and then you pick it up. You'll actually get um, increased Kohl's cash back for choosing a pickup order. Uh, there's another five off 25 right there that shows up if you choose, if you choose a pickup order versus um, if you have it shipped to you. So save the shipping, don't worry about it. and. Get three of them, get the 15% off, get the $12 mail-in rebate three times, and get the Kohl's cash completely free. Now that may not be what you're looking for. So in terms of other appliances, um, I would encourage you again to use the item search that I was just showing for the air fryer, and then search specifically for what you're looking for. There's a ton of coffee pots on sale and Keurigs, crock pots, Instapots, they're all on sale. So. Whatever it is specific that you're looking for, that's where the item search is gonna come in handy in helping you find exactly what it is that you want and the lowest deal on that item. So just take advantage of that for whatever those specific appliances are if the Kohl's deal doesn't uh, cover what you're looking for. Um, Apple Watch, Christy, we've got uh, the Apple Watch 3 is crazy cheap at Walgreens tonight, or not Walgreens. Woo, my brain has turned off. Walgreens does not sell an Apple Watch. Uh, crazy cheap at Walmart tonight. So Walmart has the Apple Watch for $109.99 for the Apple Watch 3. Now, I want to emphasize something on the Apple Watch 3. It is already, uh, it, it's not a watch that you wanna dive into unless you're cool with the fact that it cannot even get the current iOS updates. So I love the price. I actually, guys, um, just killed my, my Apple Watch. I'm still trying to wear it. I'm trying to pretend that I didn't kill it, but none of this works anymore. This corner works. I can do things in one corner, um, but that's it. And it's kind of sad, but I'm determined to just stick with what I got for right now. Um, so if you want to get a new watch, I'm not, I'm not uh, against it. I was pondering this one. I just want you to realize the Apple Watch 3 at 109.90. It, it's already sold out. It appears at 109. But uh, let's see. Walmart, uh, Target's got one on sale. Best Buy's got one on sale for the SE. That's probably your better bet. The SE 169. The SE can get the current iOS versions. 
this Apple Watch 3 cannot. So before you just take the lowest price on those Apple Watches, make sure um, that it can still get the updates. Um, now, mine is a two, mine's crazy old. It hasn't been able to get the updates for a while and it worked for my purposes. Um, but if I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade at this point, I wanna make sure I can get an upgrade that at least can get one iOS upgrade. I don't need to go all the way to the seven. There are no deals on the seven if that's what you're wanting. Um, it's the brand new version. That just, that doesn't exist. You wanna go with the next step down, which is either um, the five, if you can still find some that are out, or the SE which is the lower version um, that is out and currently getting updates. Um, ooh, uh, laptops and printers. So Joanne, there's tons of laptop deals. I would look at Walmart, Target, and Best Buy as your three go-to stores for those. And then you just decide what you're looking for. But all three of them have great prices. Uh, Target and Best Buy both offering holiday price guarantees. So if you do jump in on a deal and then it went lower, you'll get the better price. Uh, and then don't forget Target and Best Buy also will price match each other. So if you wanted, you could even go there uh, and make sure you're getting the lowest price. But all three of those stores, Target, Walmart, and Best Buy, great places to look for laptop deals right now. Printers, uh, Walmart's got a Canon Pixma, P-I-X-M-A, that is I think 29 bucks um, with their new sale that started today. That's not, I wouldn't jump on that personally uh, unless you wanted to throw it away when you were done. So what you really wanna look for with printers is printers that are cheap to replace the ink. Uh, and hands down, some of you know what I'm gonna say, it's a Brother printer. So I don't know that you're gonna find any deals on Brother printers. We haven't seen any deals since COVID started. Um, but Brother printers, the cost to replace the toner that is in a black and white laser printer for, black, for Brother is incredibly cheap. We're talking 12, maybe 15 bucks for a replacement toner cartridge. Uh, and that will last you a year. <laughs> you will replace your toner once a year for 15 bucks. Uh, and you cannot do that in inkjet printers. So that's what I would encourage you to do printer wise. It's not really the Black Friday deal, but it is a great way to save some significant money in the long run. Cheryl, yes, we will see some cruise specials on Black Friday and on Cyber Monday. Uh, we will also see those cruise specials that last a little longer. So keep in mind, we're going into January, February, which is usually called uh, wave months for them. And they, some of their lowest prices are always in the winter months. Um, so look for some deals this weekend, but also if you don't see something that you want, look for more deals in January and February on those. And Lily, um, so giveaways, the first giveaway actually ends tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I made the, the daily giveaways on the site last two days just to give folks a little longer to enter. Um, so the first one will, will end tomorrow morning. So if you haven't entered any of the giveaways on Southern Savers, you can head over. Um, just go to southernsavers.com slash giveaway um, and you will see all of those current giveaways and you can enter. Right now there's a Cuisinart air fryer, which someone was asking for. And there is a um, Ninja Dual Brew coffee pot. So enter um, a coffee system, sorry, that you can enter for both of those. I'll confess uh, this Ninja Dual Brew, I want this. Um, so I was half tempted to just come up with another prize since I already have it. And these are all sitting still in their boxes uh, right there in a pile. <laughs> and they've been there for a few weeks in my house. Um, so head over and enter to win these. Um, you've got a lot of options to be able to get those, but this one ends tomorrow morning and then the other one will end the next day. Each day we're posting a different giveaway. The gift card giveaways, I have had zero time today to go through and pick today's winner. So as soon as I finish, some of you guys will start to get notifications. Um, I will leave you a comment in a response back uh, to your comment on Facebook or Instagram. You will see me comment and say, congrats, you just won a gift card. And so you just need to send me a Facebook message if you see that comment to claim your gift card and I will email it to you. So super easy. I already emailed everyone who won yesterday. They've already got their gift cards uh, and can start to use them right away. So if you win, my goal was to get you your gift card. 
that day. I'm a little late on getting them out. Um, Mondays are just a crazy hard day in our house, uh, but I will get them tonight before I go to sleep for today's 15 winners, and then we'll pick 15 more tomorrow. The more you comment, obviously, the better your chances are to win. So that is commenting on any of our Facebook posts or Instagram posts. Uh, and Instagram folks, I know we had two people that tried to create fake accounts yesterday for me. I've never had this issue before, but this is where we are in, in the world. So I will not send you a DM requesting anything. Uh, you will see me reply to your comment saying that you've won. Um, and then you send me a DM. Uh, that's what I'm going to ask you to do. Say, congrats, you've won. Send me a DM on Instagram, but I will not send you anything. Um, no, that is a fake account. So don't, don't fall into that. Um, trying to deal with those. And if you see those pop in, please report them as fake accounts. Um, very annoying people. That's just what we're going to leave them as. Um, okay. And I keep getting a message. Karen says, I, I keep getting a message on my CVS app to update my CVS app. Um, so you should. So updating your CVS app will have zero impact on your coupons, Karen. Uh, your coupons are really CVS corporate. You can even get to those on CVS.com on your computer. So does not affect what coupons you have. The app is just displaying your coupons. So you, you should go ahead and update the app if it wants you to update it. It's just so that you're kind of running the most current code. Um, and folks are always trying to release new versions. We actually have a new version to release for Android for the Southern Savers app uh, because Facebook changed some issues and caused some issues uh, with logins. So that's usually why an app is wanting you to upgrade because there are some issues and they're trying to help you have a happier you know, use of their app and get all the features. I've not personally had that message. However, Karen, for me, my apps auto update whenever they need to. So it's just probably already long done it in the background. Uh, and Lynn, I've not seen any Birkenstock deals in terms of the actual brand. I don't know that you would see a lot on their website. I would watch Nordstrom in particular, Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack runs some great sales on name brand shoes. Um, great sales on name brand shoes. So watch them. Um, for sales on Birkenstocks. Another one that has run some sales in the past, I don't know if they're currently running anything, but they probably will in the next few weeks, is Zulily. Uh, Zulily regularly will run some kind of sales just on this whole brand and all of the things that they offer. So um, maybe you'll see Birkenstock pop in on that too. Um, so Sarah is saying, you know, if air fryers were last year's kitchen item, what is this year's kitchen item? So this year's kitchen item, Sarah, I would say is a toss up between dual brew coffee pots, which we saw um, Keurig come out with one last year. The Keurig, uh, I don't even know whether there's called the, the Keurig Dual Pro or something like that is their brand. Um, it's gotten some pretty bad reviews about leaking. So I would read up on that one before you make the dive on the Keurig. Uh, the Ninja has some great reviews, but it's brand new. So it hasn't been out that long. Um, that's probably one of them. And the other one would be the uh, kind of the, <laughs> it's like a multi-purpose tool is where I feel like we're going in the kitchen. So it was the air fryer and now it's the like 11 in one. And this, this creation air fries and grills and toasts and I don't know. I don't know where these things are going to go, but that's really where we are now. So it's no longer just the air fryer, but it's these like multi-purpose tools for the kitchen that are now, literally I saw one that was an 11 in one. I have no clue what all that can do. Broil, fries, I think they're getting really specific and nitpicky uh, on some of these just to get that number higher, but that is probably still this year's, but not the basic air fryer. We gotta go fancy. So that is this year's kitchen item. Um, any kid book deals, Mary, Catherine, so Target and Amazon both running buy two, get one free on a lot of brands and kid books, they are included in that. Um, so that's probably the best bet that you'll see. And you can just mix and match the brands that you want. Uh, I wish I had show and tell here, but if you're looking for um, some great kid books, my kiddos, I'll, I'll pull it up just to show you. Um, but we would always recommend um, any of the brands in the Rosie Revere line. Um, and there's a brand new one in the Rosie Revere line. Um, and these are also part of the buy three and get two, uh, buy three and get one free sale. 
So Rosie Revere Engineer, um, Sophia Valdez, Iggy Peck Architect, these are great books. We stumbled upon them because of this book right here. We have a daughter named Ada. Uh, and so this book was named, like no one has her name. Um, absolutely love these books. So um, that is, you know, just me. That's not a sponsored anything, but if it, it's so sweet that they are on sale as well. So you get a discount on them, but then they're part of the buy two, get one free. And again, this is one where Amazon's got way more books that are included in that buy, buy two, get one sale than Target does. So I would shop that one at Amazon over Target. Um, okay. So two more here, and then I'm going to cut off. Um, any deals on Ugg slippers? Uh, we are seeing some sales on Uggs. I would watch jane.com. They've got individual sales on Uggs. I would also head to Kohl's. Kohl's has quite a few Ugg products, even like Ugg uh, housewares. You can get Ugg blankets and comforters. <laughs> I didn't even know Ugg made some of these brands. Um, so head to Kohl's and see what they have too. But jane.com, Kohl's, and again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point you to Zulily. Zulily's like, it's a random catch-all for unique brands. Um, and Ugg is regularly on Zulily. So watching all three of those sites to see what you can find. The Kohl's deals, obviously, whatever you see is what you see. They're going to run those sales through, um, I think it's the 27th. What is currently running will run through Saturday. And the new sales for Cyber Monday are going to start on Sunday. Okay, guys. Um, I am going to go ahead and end there. I, you know, as we go into Black Friday, I would love for you guys to share the Black Friday item search with your friends. Help them to make sure that they're getting the best deals on things. Share the giveaways that we're doing too. All of this, um, you know, is really me sponsoring them, but it's a way to increase engagement um, and help us all out, help you guys find more deals. Um, and thank you guys for following the deals. So um, hopefully this has helped you. Here are some of the sales that are running. Um, all of the Black Friday ads are out now. We're not really waiting on anything. We know about every single thing. They're all in the Black Friday item search. So please use it. That's why it's there as you go hunting for specific deals this week. Uh, the deals that have started Target, Kohl's, Best Buy, Walmart, they're all gonna run through Saturday. So you've got a while, but do look for new deals that will be thrown in on Thursday. So Thanksgiving day online or Friday in store for all of those brands. So I, thanks for watching guys. We are not gonna do a drugstore video tomorrow. I already mentioned that last week for you guys. So no drugstore video, but all of those CVS and Walgreens deals are there. The CVS big freebies for Black Friday start on Thursday. You have, you have like basically three different ads it feels like in the one CVS ad this week, but there are some great deals to grab. So head into the store, look at the list that's on Southern Tavers and grab the freebies while you can. You just won't be able to do a video. Um, so I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving uh, and you are able to get some great deals. We'll be back live Cyber Monday night. So next Monday night, 8.30, same time, same place. So join me for all the Cyber Monday deals. We'll get to recap them at the end of the day. Plus most Cyber Monday deals, we end up waking up to hundreds of emails that say, this is sales been extended. So don't feel like you have to be pressured to shop on Monday. You'll have plenty of time on Tuesday to grab whatever we talk about. So thanks again.